In this video, we'll be talking about the 29 steps. Uh, this is a, another dive site. That's not actually far from uh, the A-frames. If you checked out my other playlist on dive sites, it's uh, roughly about 400 meters away from the A-frames. This is a site I've not actually dived before. Um, as the name says, 29 steps. You have to get 29 steps down to the, the shore. It's well concealed. Um, if, if you just pass drive past it, you'll actually miss it. So on this, hopefully, we'll give you a rough idea how to find the site. So on the next picture will be roughly how far or the location to get to this um, site. So you need, coming from Glasgow, head as always to Loch Lomond on the A82 and look out for a sign for Gear Lock Head. That's the A17. And then from there, just follow that road all the way around until you come to roundabouts and take the third on your right. And again, in the next roundabout, take the third on your right. Keep going down until you pass the, the green kettle, which is a calf. Keep going down again, and you see the oil terminal. Uh, follow that road. Um, you might recognize the dive site on the left, which is called the A-frames. You might see people setting up uh, diving equipment. Obviously go past that, but keep your speed down as you quite quickly come upon this uh, site. So in the video coming up, you will see me walking up from the A-frames. Uh, on your right, there should be a, like an oil storage tanker. And you can see there's not much room for this, um, for parking for cars. Um, you're very limited. You probably push, can get four cars in. Um, I wouldn't recommend parking on the other side because that's an entrance to a cottage, which you, uh, cottage, I think bed and breakfast, you see in a minute in the video. So as I'm walking up on your right, there's um, a gate for emergency services to gain entrance to their actual oil, um, oil terminal. And there's a sign that says, do not block. Um, use common sense here, do not block the entrance because they will probably move your car away. And again, do not park too close on the left-hand side. There's a bit of a, a ditch. Don't wanna get stuck in there. So there's the gate. It looks like it's never been used, but just in case, do not block this area up. As the camera turns around, see if you can spot the entrance. It's not very visible. That road there, as I said, was going towards the cottages. Uh, I think bed and breakfast. Uh, but obviously be careful when you're crossing the roads of normally fast moving vehicles, especially motorbikes coming from the A-frame and there's actually it's a blind bend especially carrying heavy equipment you couldn't actually run across. So there's a tree and you see the flower pots and as you get closer, you will see the 29 steps. If you don't believe me, count them yourself. There's 29 steps. Uh, there's no rope or handrail to carry or to hold on to. Um, just watch your foot and it can be a bit slippery. Depends on the weather. This is a view looking up. Um, at the bottom again, watch your foot and there's a bit of loose rocks. But once you get down, it's not too bad. It's just all shingle. And um, to the left, in a minute you see a bolt house that has no roof on it. A lot of uh, a few junk's been dumped in there, but you got some plastic chairs which is handed putting kit on. This is us with our kit. And there's a picture again looking upwards. Trust me, it's a lot harder going up. So the site itself is not bad when entering the water. There's no actual big rocks. It's great for training, I think, because there is actually a, a dive platform underneath. I think people used to dive or train like SMBs. And there's a, an old boat, wooden rowing boat underneath the water as well. And there's a f one or two big piles of discarded dive cylinders that just been dumped. It's quite interesting. Um, and of course, various marine life. Um, so basically from from the boathouse just literally go straight on uh, for roughly 15 meters and you'll come across it and then to the left is where the damped uh, dive cylinders are and just have a swim around there probably max depth is probably about pushing it maybe 30 before you get too deep with the current but overall i think it'd be ideal for training but the only issue is is getting your kit up and down which can be a quite tiring after a long dive As you can see, that's where we dumped our kit. As I said, just go straight out and you'll come to the dive platform. 
and to the left will be the dive cylinders and again to the left in the background you can see the oil, ter oil terminal and that's in the distance is the a-frames so it's not too far away from this site that used to be i think the way to deliver the boat to actually enter the water As always in this lock long it's always nice and calm the weather wasn't too bad but as i said great for for trainees not much obstacles wasn't visibility wasn't too bad on this day and then to the right that's where the um i think cottages are and the bed and breakfast i'm not sure what they are okay i'm panning around just give me a sight of the view of the site so that bolt house doesn't have any cover. So this is another site if you fancy checking out, you can do one dive here if you've got the energy and then go straight to the A-frames. So the next clip is gonna be us coming up. The view from the steps. You can dump your kit there or even set your kit up and then walk downstairs to the steps. So that's the 29 steps um, on Lock Long. Um, I'll put links in the description and anything else I find that might be helpful. So if you like this video, I thought it was very helpful, just give us a thumbs up. And if you like my content, you know what to do, subscribe. Thanks very much.